was in the office of the president, in the center, the heart of government. I was personal assistant to the head of the public service. I sat in the nerve center of government, and I understand government. I was personal assistant to President Uru Kenyatta. I understand politics. I was in the private sector. I built business from scratch to a multi-billion enterprise. I understand business. So I bring to government the value of blending the public and the private sector to assist the president. The five years I served in parliament is neither here nor there. That is just another addition to understand how to stay with Akina Jini Kagiri and to understand the standing orders and what happens in parliament. That 35 years is the experience I bring to this government. It is a lot. So now I have another two years as deputy president. 37 years. Sasa Raiz Sako Sawa. Mutiyake ya mkono anaelewa. Number two. I am a people-centered person. I talk to everybody, including MCS, Riyaya Kawaida, Dio nijue nini naendelea. Dio neweza kumusaidia rais. Because usiposikisa watu wanasema nini. Kwa ujivanya ni mtu mkubwa, utaelewa. Subimi na kana kila mtu nasikisa. Na muambia rais, watu nasema na muna hii, tufanya na muna hii, tufanya na muna hii, tusaidiane. Kwa ya uchumi, rais hamejitahidi na matuda imeanza kuonekana. Tulipoingia bolea ilikuwa shilingi 1700. Sasa ni 1250. Kazi ya rais William Ruto. Tulikuwa unga ni 240. Sasa imeteremka 130, 135, Dola ilikuwa dio hiyo 162, sasa ni 134. Kwa sababu ya mpangilio na hii kazi rais alikuwa anapanga pole pole kwa sababu alikuta deni mlolongo na alikaa ofisi kwanza kupanga na nilikuwa naambia watu tu wakuwe na subra uvumilivu sasa kazi ya rais imeanza kuonekana mambo ya hiyo barabara tumepanga mambo ya dams tumepanga so tutaendelea pole 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 na akimaliza kipindi chake Dio nirudi hapa tena kumwambia tushikane zote tumuongeze miaka ingine tano. Kazi yake ikuwa imesimama na inajulikana. Na hiyo ni kazi tutaendelea kusukuma.